Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. It is going to be focused on your love life. If you are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So let's find out what is going on in your love life. What is happening in Cancer's love life? I am also going to be clarifying these energies, so do stay tuned for that. Very interesting, very first card to come out. Okay, very interesting set of energies that have come out. I feel like some of you are dealing with some type of a conflict in your world. It feels as if there's an energy of one person trying to impose their will upon the other individual, or perhaps it feels as if there's an energy of which, you know, the feminine could be really, really, you know, feminine in ways that makes her very attractive and the masculine could be a very strong type of an individual but I feel like even though the masculine stands upright and is quite strong there's an energy which is indicating yeah you know something broken or missing inside of the masculine could be uh, the masculine's heart right the reason why I'm putting it in that sort of you know description is because of the way this card is showing up I feel like there's an energy of which the feminine might be, you know, not showing her emotions in the way that she wants to, but there is this element of vulnerability. I feel like in the conflict, uh, one person is not really indicating the full extent to which this conflict is causing pain. So that is something very interesting to see, right? It's quite clear here that the feminine or the female in the situation is um, you know, coming off in light of being this very glorious kind of creature, very, very seductive, very attractive, but also at the same time, very soft and vulnerable, very loving and caring, uh, but uh, trying to keep it all together. Very interesting energies have shown up here. Um, and for some reason, there's the sense of one person hurting a lot more than the other individual and um, it's definitely showing up so it could either be you or it could be your person concerned right depending who's the masculine or the feminine so let's see now I'm seeing this energy which is indicating yeah that at one point in time there's a sense of a lot of things that were in obscurity there's this energy of which you know there's this rawness connecting connected to your connection. It feels like the kind of energy where uh, not really knowing where you stand, not really knowing if you should go in one direction or the other, and picking up energies here that are both instinctual but also domestic. It feels like the energy where, you know, domestic meaning that wanting to be that loving, caring, maternal, nurturing partner, as well as the raw a wild nature of the human uh, being, you know, so sometimes being gregarious, a little bit crazy, a little bit nuts. This is the type of energy that your connection 
elicits in the situation. So it's very interesting to see because I feel like sometimes you might feel like, okay, this person makes you feel so happy. The next moment you might feel as if you just want to pull your hair out. So I'm picking up that kind of energy between both you and this individual concern. Um, it could be a relationship that is a love-hate kind of situation, or it could be a situation where you have two individuals that love each other so very much, but at the same time want to pull each other's hair out. So definitely getting that. The next thing I'm seeing here from these energies is a sense of the fact that, you know, you're dealing with a connection right now where both you and this individual are being very, very, um, you know, it's secretive in your own world, you're off in your own world, they are off in their own world. There's not a lot that's being demonstrated in the set of circumstances. It could be because both you and this individual are not wanting to feed into that instinctual energy of, you know, engaging in that kind of dynamic where it's all love and then all of a sudden it's all anger and wanting to pull each other's hair out. Wow. So I feel like there's a lot of things that are um, not being seen at this point in time there's an energy of passivity and the energy of passivity might be with regard to trying to gain an element of composure in a situation that was once very volatile so very interesting now the next energy that i'm noticing here in this situation is that uh, there's a sense of you know your person trying to move away from the situation, trying to make an exit in the set of circumstances due to a number of reasons, they will have their own. But I feel like they're looking for calmer waters because as I mentioned before, there was an element of volatility that has come through from the way these cards have shown up. Your energy could be indicating a need for more stability and more, um, you know, things that are centered around having groundedness it feels like that kind of thing is coming through uh, very very heavily uh, from the situation so some of you might have met someone else or you might be interested in trying to move in a different direction compared to this individual if, if there's no one else then it could be indicating you wanting to rely upon yourself for stability or expecting this individual to fulfill your expectation of stability right so I'm also seeing here that there's there's a lot of silence in this situation right uh, someone is being very very quiet in the set of circumstances uh, this could be you or this could be this individual and I feel like you know it's kind of like playing the waiting game it's like waiting to see uh, what's going to come off the situation is this person going to turn things around or are you meant to do something? It's like playing that waiting game because your person might have been usually a very impulsive type of individual. So I'm definitely picking that up. Uh, there's a sense of sadness here that is connected to this individual, no doubt about it. Uh, but I feel like it's a subdued sadness that's coming through from this individual. What I do want to ask uh, when I you know, further clarify these energies later on is, um, you know, why is there this element of silence coming through from these particular energies? I see uh, that when it comes to your connection as a whole, you know, coming back together, it's almost as if, you know, your person has to, um, you know, they have this energy of sort of running away from it, sort of avoiding it. It feels like that kind of thing that's coming through. There could be a number of reasons why they're choosing to do so. So let's see, let's begin the clarification process. Okay, so what I'm sensing and seeing from the situation is that you could be dealing with a very strong person, someone who has a very strong willpower, who gets things done, doesn't allow anything or anyone to get in their way. They can be very headstrong in many shapes and forms. 
to me, it seems as if someone is just not communicating in this situation. Uh, there could be a reason why, but I'm definitely picking up a sense of the ego or the pride or perhaps, you know, trying to preserve. There's an energy coming across, which is talking about um, a very interesting word. It's called self-preservation. Your person could be trying to preserve themselves or preserve their integrity, preserve uh, how they come off to you. You know, it feels like that kind of energy of which, you know, when a person wants to eat a piece of cheesecake and then they have one slice and they have two slices and then they're like, I'm not going to have the third slice because they might, uh, you know, gain some weight there. So I feel like the energies are indicating that um, there's an element of self-preservation. You're not wanting to indulge in something because it might cause Pain. It might cause a sense of sadness here. So I feel like that's where your situation is currently at. I feel like what frustrates you the most at this point is that all you want is someone to be stable, to be reliable, to be so, you know, there for you to, um, you know, to take care of you. It feels like that kind of energy and uh, there isn't much communication. And it, I feel like waiting doesn't make you too pleased. I feel like you don't like to wait in the set of circumstances right very interesting uh there's definitely a sense here of this person sort of turning away from the situation because it has caused them an element of pain and i feel like there's an energy of which they they're not able to give to the situation because uh there's there's something else that's going on in their world right in terms of the two of you coming together i see this element of something collapsing So let's see. Why is there this element of silence here between both you and this individual concerned? Someone is playing the silent game in the situation, very hesitant to open up. Not wanting to delve into that uh, anymore. I feel like there's an energy of wanting to come out of conflict, not wanting to deal with any form of conflict. There was a lot of hostility here between both you and this individual concern. At times, it must have, must have been infuriating, uh, not just for you, but also perhaps for this individual concern. I feel like there's an energy which is indicating yeah, someone drawing a line in the ground and you know either setting up these boundaries or being the type of individual that they're not entertaining these sort of notions anymore because it results in an element of hostility and picking up those kind of energies uh, when it comes to why they're not communicating, right? So what I'm going to explore in the extended is uh, your person's mind, heart and soul energy. I'm also going to be looking at ways around the situation. Can you navigate the situation? Can you come out of it given what has occurred so far? Because I feel like one person just doesn't want to you know, say anything, do anything, because there's a fear of conflict. There's also heartbreak that I picked up from your person's energy. I feel like you are further infuriated because you've been waiting for this person to offer some semblance of stability or to try to stabilize the situation, but that has yet to come to fruition. So I'm going to be exploring all of those elements as well as providing some advice in the extended. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a beautiful day and take care.